All right. As you went through the background reading, you saw how luminosity, temperature, and radius of a star can be related to each other. Um, and there's a simple equation that relates them to each other, at least it's relatively simple. That is that the luminosity of a star is equal to its radius squared times temperature to the fourth power. And we can use this uh, equation as long as we're using what's called solar system units, which means that the radius, temperature, and luminosity are all measured as multiples of our own sun. So for example, a star that is twice the radius of our sun would have a radius of two R sub star symbol here. Okay, so um, that's that simplified notation and that allows us to write this equation without all kinds of constants in it. Now, because these are related in this way, it's kind of amazing actually. Like if I know the temperature of a star and its luminosity, how bright it is, I immediately know what its radius is, how big it is by um, using this equation. And we're gonna also see these relationships in the HR diagram. And so um, I just wanna start by making these connections here in this table. But uh, this video is really just to help you fill out this table if you're having trouble with this equation. It's not an equation we're gonna use much in our course. Um, so you'll see that there's blanks in, in the table. And um, so we're gonna need to solve for luminosity in a couple cases and solve for radius in a couple of cases. So I'm going to actually rearrange this equation to solve for radius, which um, would actually be that the radius equals the square root of luminosity divided by temperature to the fourth. Okay, so that's two different versions of the same equation, one solving for luminosity, one solving for radius. Let's use those then to fill out the rest of this table. So if the temperature is one and the luminosity is one, maybe you can even guess that the radius should also be one, right? And the reason for that is because this is talking about our own sun. If the, if the temperature is the same as our sun and the luminosity is the same as our sun, then the radius must be the same as our sun as well. But we can, we can see that using this equation. In this case, the radius is equal to the square root of the luminosity. I'm gonna put in one divided by temperature to the fourth, that's one to the power of four. Well, one to the power of four is one times one times one times one, which is one. One divided by one is one, and the square root of one is one. So this whole thing just equals one, all right? Let's take a peek at this next one where I have radius is one and the temperature is two, and I need to find the luminosity. So I'm gonna solve for luminosity, I'm gonna start with L is gonna equal radius squared, so one squared, times temperature to the fourth, two to the power of four. So, okay, one squared is just one, so this becomes one times two to the power of four. Let's see here, two times two times two times two. You could use a calculator for that. I'm gonna use my head. So two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. So one times 16, that equals just 16. And so this luminosity of this star is uh, 16 times the luminosity of our sun. All right, let's do the next one. Here I'm again solving for radius. So I'm gonna use this version here. Radius equals the square root of luminosity nine divided by the temperature to the fourth one to the power of four. So again, one to the power of four is just one. Nine divided by one is just nine. So this is the square root of nine. Square root of nine is three. So the radius of this star would be three solar radii. All right, and let's do the last one where I'm again now solving for luminosity. So luminosity equals uh, radius squared, one squared, times temperature to the fourth. Ooh, now I have a half. The temperature is a half to the power of four. Oh boy, so again, one squared is just one. Uh, one over two, now this is maybe pulling back from your algebra days. You could pl plug that into a calculator, um, but actually when you're raising something to the power of four, that's the same, when it's a fraction, it's the same as going one to the fourth over two to the fourth. Okay, that's uh, the same thing as our fraction there. 
And uh, one to the fourth, as we've seen, is just one. And two to the fourth we saw was 16. So this whole thing is actually one over 16. A half times a half times a half times a half is uh, one sixteenth. So this luminosity is one over 16. Okay, and that's how you can use these equations to complete this table.